is now recognized for five minutes. I thank the chairman, and I thank you, uh, Chairman Garrett, for your service in this Congress as chairman of our Capital Markets Committee. You've done an outstanding job. And uh, Chair White, it's a pleasure to see you. And as someone who's testified before Congress before, I always uh, thank you for your forthright testimony. Uh, it's a relative statement compared to many who come before us. Sometimes the bar is relatively low to step over, but I really do appreciate uh, your effort to be responsive to the committee in a timely way. Um, the uh, market structure topic, uh, we've talked about that before, and uh, this is something that in the uh, first term that I've had in Congress over the last uh, two years that's concerned me because we have some 50 trading platforms and we've added recently a new exchange. And uh, when the Commission published its list of rules that would be reviewed uh, pursuant to the Regulatory Flexibility Act, it included Regulation NMS. And uh, have you, where are you on your commitment to fully vet and review that rule? I mean, the, you know, NMS, is, uh, I mentioned before that uh, at least as I look at our uh, market structure work, it's both things that we know now, we think at least, should be fixed. And it's a comprehensive, you know, review of, you know, all the relevant issues. Obviously, one of the biggest relevant issues is NMS itself. And that's something that both is, you know, something that's the subject of our MSAC committee's uh, work and also, uh, you know, of the SEC's uh, comprehensive review. I mean, it's a, there are a lot of pieces to that. You know, I mean, one of the reasons we want to be data-driven in the market structure work is that we don't you know, sort of, we, we do have the safest, uh, you know, most reliable markets in, in the world and strongest, I think, and we don't want, you know, to do something that, you know, would have unintended consequences. But in terms of examining NMS, um, you know, from the ground up, it's very much on the, on the table to do. When do you think the commission will review their work and make a proposal there? With respect to NMS itself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can't really predict the, um, the precise timing, I mean, uh, it, I guess it may be up to somebody besides me in terms of actually when it will be, you know, before the commission, but I'm sure it will be, it will, well, I shouldn't say I'm sure, but I, I would expect it to remain, you know, front and center uh, going forward. So, you know, this issue between trading venues and exchanges is a related topic. I think it all relates to us having the most competitive markets and having the most competitive, particularly equity markets. Uh, I noted that uh, former Commissioner Gallagher uh, gave a speech not long ago where he talked about should exchanges remain self-regulatory organizations, SROs. In your work as you head out, have you gotten developed a personal view on that? I mean, that, that's something that, I mean, I, we continue to say that's also, I will say, you know, in one of our subcommittees, it's, it's, it's very focused on it. Uh, we continue to do work on it. I haven't formed a, you know, a view on it other than that I think there's significant questions raised. Uh, I want to switch uh, gears briefly, and it's something that uh, uh, I think Congress has reaffirmed over the past years, and certainly the Commission has, and that's uh, the issue that for equity research, one can use uh, so-called soft dollar uh, commissions to pay for um, investment research. Is that still the position of the Commission and under 20AD, for example? There's not a prohibition on that, right? Yeah. So. Uh, but I hear that uh, in Europe, they're headed a different direction uh, under their 2014 uh, uh, proposal they put out called Markets and Financial Instru Instruments Directive. Couldn't that create a real disparity for U.S. Uh, investment banking and research firms for their clients in Europe versus their clients in the United States? It certainly, you know, has that potential. And I mean, one of the things that's... Uh I mean, you know, it sort of struck me that almost the, certainly the week, uh, first week I entered the door is just how much uh, we need to be coordinating with international regulators for, you know, certainly among the reasons the ones you're just teeing up right now because, and it's something we do consider when we decide, you know, our own policies as well. I mean, you're looking at, you know, you know how, how do you coordinate two different systems? Who is it advantaging, disadvantaging? And, and so, um, you know, it's something we continue to discuss with them uh, in various forums, actually. Would it, would it be something you'd be willing to write a letter to the European securities regulators and caution them about this because of the, the uh, disparate treatment that our investment research uh, companies would? I mean, I think I'd need a little further briefing on that from the staff as to exactly, you know, at least in their view, uh, how they sync together or don't. Uh, but certainly if I was of that view after that, I certainly wouldn't hesitate. I might, I might not do it by letter, but, you know. No. You have time. It doesn't take place until I do, I do have 18, time. but in 17, you know how firms work well in advance of deadlines, and I think it uh, could put American companies at a severe disadvantage. 
Thanks for taking a look at it for me. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.